Good morning, good afternoon, colleagues, friends, and dear delegates and participants. My name is Victor Conde from the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, and I'm pleased to join you at this special event. I may say for the first time, and therefore I'm pleased to be here. And perhaps as a start point is just to thank Engineering for Change for extending an invitation to me and to ECA. Uh, to take place to take part in this uh, special event. 2020 will go down in history as a year when we were all called to action, first to fight a health care pandemic that soon became a social, economic, environmental challenge that has affected every one of us and every aspect of our lives. ECA has undertaken in this regard several efforts to support our member states in the fight against COVID-19. For today, I'll be focusing on one of our efforts that looks at uh, building the biomedical engineering capacity uh, on the continent. Over the last decade, we have supported a network of universities and research centers across Africa to develop biomedical engineering uh, programs for undergraduate uh, students. Promote innovation and entrepreneurship among biomedical engineering students. Attract female students to schools of engineering. Many of you may know that Africa actually have uh, a, a small but growing number of researchers, but we have even fewer female as, as students or female researchers. As of 2019, I'm pleased to inform you that our partner universities had enrolled about 2,600 students within in their undergraduate and postgraduate BME programs. We also had 328 uh, students that had participated in our annual Biomedical Innovator Summer School. This year was actually was a special one because we actually had this so special boot camp and also a forum and therefore I'll try and focus a little bit on that. In June, we organized uh, together with uh, the United Nations uh, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, the Department of Science and Innovation of South Africa, Engineering for Change, and other partners to host the Africa Innovation and Investment Forum 2020. The main aim was to create a robust innovation ecosystem in Africa through increased private sector investment, drive growth of homegrown innovative startups, and inspire especially the youths and female researchers to pursue biomedical engineering uh, innovations. The forum attracted over 600 participants and focused on innovations in testing, medical devices, BPEs, track and trace, government, innovations in government, and innovation in pharmaceutical production. A total of about 164 investment trade innovations were submitted within three weeks by teams from about 38 countries. Perhaps it's proof that an emerging engineering innovation ecosystem is emerging on the continent, and perhaps we should all help to support. Alongside the forum, a youth innovation competition and design bootcamp was also held to empower and inspire the youth to design innovative solutions and learn new and emerging techniques and entrepreneurial skills over a period of two months, two weeks. About 264 applied and were supported by 34 mentors and lecturers, as well as 11 keynote speakers to whom we were very grateful. And therefore, as we look ahead, I hope you will join us in building the technical and entrepreneurial capabilities in Africa, especially for pharmaceutical production, renewable energy, safe water, and digital solutions, all of which have become pretty important in the fight against COVID-19. There is a lot that you can do as engineers, and change is needed now. As ECA, we are ready to work with you to save the continent. Thank you for the invitation, and I look forward to working with you.